Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I want to tell you a story. A few days before my mother died, um, she gave me uh, a lesson that I didn't know how much I'd need, but it was a really great lesson. Now, she left me a legacy of a clean slate, but prior to that, she gave me something else. My mother was known for her laundry skills, her laundering skills. She, um, I had a skirt that I'd had for like 30 years and people would say, there's no way you've had that skirt 30 years. The colors are so vibrant, so, so new, but she knew how to keep clothes so good and so crisp. Once, um, when I asked her about why laundry was her hobby, she said that she didn't, she couldn't buy us anything new and she wanted our clothes to always look like they were new. So it became something that she not only did for um, joy for herself, but she wanted to give a piece of that joy to us. It was also the time that she had to herself down in the basement, washing clothes, having a sip. Two days before she died, uh, she told me, she apologized. She asked for my forgiveness for something that I had forgotten about and hadn't paid much attention to. <clears throat> my mother had washed, um, I think it was a dress, and it was Issy Miyake is the designer. And Issy Miyake has a line called Pleats, Pleats Please, where there's these tiny, tiny pleats in the fabric. Um, the pleats are made with heat, and so it can't go in the dryer because heat brings those pleats out. And she didn't know this at the time. She didn't know about that um, silk pleated fabric, fabric pleated with, heats, with, with heat. <clears throat> so she put it in the dryer and, and it took all the pleats out of the dress and she was really upset with that. She knew it was a piece that I loved a lot and it was expensive. And so two days before she died, that was the thing she really wanted to apologize for. She had already apologized for all the other things, but she, it was as if she had that one thing that she didn't want to leave undone. And then, as if she had another 87 years to live, she gave me a gift that will last me for 87. She told me, how to do laundry. She said, you don't know how to do no laundry. And it's true. She had always done the laundry and laundry was not something I did. In fact, I would always say laundry skips a generation. But she took the rest of that day her lung had collapsed and she could barely breathe and she took that time to painstakingly tell me how to do laundry. And she went through every kind of fabric and then saved that malaki is what she called it. That You know that it's malaki. It's miyaki, mom. Yeah, that's what I said. It's malaki. <sighs> she said, you take that it's malaki. And after you wash it on cold on the gentle cycle, you got a good machine. Leave it on the gentle cycle. And then she said, when you take it out, just shake it once and lay it flat on a towel. After a while, go back and turn it over and let that moisture come out of the other side. It won't take those pleats out and it'll be like new. And then she told me which of my garments should also be done that way. And I wasn't really paying much attention. I was like, mom, save your breath. I'll have somebody help me out with this. And she said, no, they don't know. I didn't know and they won't know. She told me how to wash cashmere, 
how to wash wool, how to wash silks. And I was really kind of like, you know, she knows that I'm not interested in any of this. Now, as someone who makes my own clothes, who makes things and pleats and pleats into fabrics and sews cashmere and silks, and I not only need to know how to make that garment, I need to know how to maintain that garment. And she was giving me that gold. I didn't know how to sew when my mother died. I've only been sewing four years. But that gift gives to me every time I go to the machine. People are telling us things. They are giving us gifts. They are telling us how to live and what to do and sharing their knowledge. And sometimes we're not listening. But if we're still we have a loved one that we miss. Listen back to those lessons. And in it, you will find so much love. Not only love. You'll see that they could see the future. She also told me to keep a box of toilet paper in my closet just in case. We never had a shortage around here. I love you.